Hey, here's Joe again and welcome back to Neo Complete Edition where we are in the Defiled Holy Mountain mission and want to explore not down here next to our shrine but actually over in the other direction. Oh god, frame drop from 60 to 49. Immediately upon exiting there. First of all, we need to get rid of these two guys. One of them didn't re respawn. Interesting. Yep! <coughs> Fucking stun locking. My, I mean, to be fair, that's what I do with them a lot. And now we have to do that again and reach that again. Are you kidding me? No, that's not what you're supposed to do when I press and hold Y. Frame drop. The frame drop feels really, really, really bad. How oh, did you miss that? No. Hey. How did I miss the freaking button? Whatever. We wanted to go over here is what I wanted to say. These two guys again here? No. Now it's only one. How can I not... Lock on. <laughs> the one he sent on patrol? That one? Was there mine there or what happened to me? Enter the hot spring. Because there's an achievement to get every hot spring. Which means that that couldn't have been the final one. Okay. How does this relate to the bridge we saw on the uh, from our, our shrine? We must be able to reach... Oh! What a... Uh, there were two there. At least that attack has hyper armor as it should have. Most of the attacks don't have the hyper armor they should have, but that one does at least. We have an upper and a lower path. Let's go the lower path because I think it might connect with the other side. We saw that there was a big, oh god, big patrol there. Like a patrol of four people, I think we saw. Oh, we are below the bridge here. <laughs> There's a master somewhere. Okay, we can skip the bridge using this. But I want, want to definitely go over the bridge. But that's one way to reach this without having had to drop down. But I saw the drop down opportunity there and it was too good to pass upon. Okay, this way. People died there due to being pushed off. Fell, yeah. El Perro de Agua. Don't know what Perro... What was Perro? 
Was it like dog? Wasn't it like dog? Like the water dog? I expect Raven Tango. Nope. Did you actually? I freaking try to evade you. To grab. <clears throat> I mean, I like how I shred the monsters. Like, having a weaker weapon would have been atrocious. Lot of guys here. Hey! Stop ignoring gameplay mechanics. <laughs> he could have killed me, hand he missed that one attack. Ooh. All of them. Ah, loot pinata combined. How the fuck did you not aggro? Did they respawn? Yeah, your jumping tricks won't help you. have seen that. There's a lot of stuff to look at here. We saw that that side had a Kodama. We saw that already. Let's go back towards the bridge. Okay, that asshole. I'm always using the uh, the guard stance to move slowly. Okay. Yoka Ram on the bridge. Do I want to do it now? Like if I res uh, reset the area by dying, it's probably best to do it here. Oh, what a fucker. I said R, B, and B. My God. Okay, over there is uh, what we saw already. That's a group of multiple. Are they four? They didn't patrol here, they fought. And that's one of them died off screen. And then respawn. Okay. Unlocked my shortcut to where by by killing the Raven Tango, unlock my shortcut to go over the bridge. It's not really a shortcut. Sometimes I'm using the wrong words to mean the right things. There's a Kodama right here. Up there. How did you die? I mean, we pulled a lot of guys out of this place.
and made it safer. That's the Keeling Kodama. We should be at seven now, if I haven't forgotten one. I have to jump down there. Let's do that now. Let's explore here. There's at least one patrolling guy still in this wood. This shouldn't be towards the target. I'm 100% certain that we're supposed to go up. God. Push it. This will heat back up. There's at least one patroller. Yeah, there he is. Don't know whether that counted as interrupting it. I think that's the guy who is supposed to uh, spot you while you are... Sneaking around here, the, uh, like here the backside, you're supposed to sneak around and go just past them and not killing them all. Okay, this looks dangerous. Outlaw. There's a Kodama and a shrine inside. Do I want to go to the shrine? I want. Kodama's right here. Ha! Ah, there he is. Let's do that now so that we don't lose too much progress. Unlike the killing front. We had 8 out of 9. One Kodama to go. This could very well be the last. Don't want to be spotted by that guy, that patroller. But I might need to be spotted if I drop down to that to get that item. There are rogues up here. I don't see them. Ah, he might have just ran and was ambushed by them. I was just thinking, like, that looks like it could be our target. It isn't. But it looked like it might have been. The Kodama is up there in the corner on the roof or below me in a cave. This doesn't look like it leads to a cave. Summoner's candle. I wasn't spotted. Come on. Not seen any enemies for a while. This feels like the approach to a boss fight. Yeah, we're supposed to go through in a second. But first of all, I want to grab the thing that we're here for. So that we can change this. Anything new? New Kodama sense, it's worse. Okay, and treasure luck. Mostly taking that for the luck. I think he's guarding Mitsunari. That already my boss fight entry? I suppose not. Ah, that's how I enter the boss fight. Immediate change of lighting and a big cave. Okay, I'm gonna fight that boss in a second. I need to pee.
Okay, uh, let's fight. I assume Mitsunari. I don't assume Kelly is here because this is the first mission in here. Would be weird to fight Kelly first and then Mitsunari. You don't have hair? Oh, that's its plan. <laughs> Kelly. So Kelly is here. So we'll be fighting a yokai. Resurrect the most brutal overlord of them all. What the fuck? Okay, wind. Thank you. Fuck King Wind. Um, hello? Stamina? Bullshit. He can stun lock me. Okay, so only one guy to fight to get back to the boss. I don't know which direction I moved in. I think my uh, cart was in the middle of the arena. I might... Oh, he didn't even respawn. Um, I might summon Ken the Kato back after this attempt uh, in order not to lose an ho almost a, a whole level of souls. Push it. Great. Immediately win it. I press buttons game. Push it. That's a grab. No. Push it. Push it. Have less reach, man. Your combos have too much reach. And he's using his weird. Power. Uh, that, 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 that. You just caught in that. And then you die. Push. Not a grab. Yes! 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 That is an asshole move. What? Okay, I su I'm supposed to fight him more in the face so that he doesn't use his stupid one cycle ability. Let's level up. More strength. Since I'm never using the points for any other weapon, not in this playthrough, we're gonna buy two points of melee mastery. It takes a while till it accepts the next entry. Okay, we are at plus 12 melee weapon tech, not that it really matters because we are at 800 something. 
from 840 to 852, so not really worth it. But it would be worth it for like some, um, if you're ex for example using tonfas or dual swords, which attack 30 times a second, uh, those 12 attacks are, uh, 12 attack points are really useful, I think. I drank too much coffee. Push it. I hate it. I am not low health and I'm not squishy armor. How do you fight that thing as a squishy character? What the fuck game? What the f- I need to calm down. Okay, I'm changing to a wind protection talisman. That also gives me a bit more defense. Not that 50 points really help. Yeah, of course I had to. Yeah, okay, that doesn't help. He can one cycle me if he misses two of his four out of his four attack combo. Where is my hyper armor? Bullshit. Bullshit. The most bullshit is that he stuns me out of my elixir. Like I'm No, I didn't get the thing that I get for depleting his key. You fucking grabbed me out of my elixir! What the fuck game? He's too fast. I can't fight him with the weapon. With anything. I, I don't have movement that is fast enough. I can't avoid his attacks. I can't tank his attacks. I need to get some distance because his, he, his tracking is too good. And his combos are too long. So that's why I need to get distance if I want to heal or replenish my stamina. Push it! Push it! Yeah, it's a one cycle. What the fuck? You need to learn about aiming. What the fuck happened to my attack? This time I wanted to replenish my key and for that I die. This guy is an asshole. Okay, use my power-ups. Not that it helps, but...
but they're replenishable at least. Oh shit. The one cycle potential is so it's so frustrating. He covers the entire arena, you can't range him, you can't close combat outmaneuver him. You just die. Blocking. Okay. I mean, not the wind projectors. Blocking won't help against them. I didn't power up this time. Yes, of course. Thank you. Outrun it. He stun locks me. Bullshit! What are you supposed to do about that bullshit? He uses his power up, and then you have to range, otherwise, you. What the fuck? Okay, always stay close to him. Never, ever go uh, away from him. Only like these three attempts, I'm already threatened to lose my controller from my grip because I'm sweating so much. Great. It's not even hot today. It's just the stress of this bullshit. Where's my... Oh, I'm standing on it. Yay! Yay! Great. How? How? What? You just get one cycled. Every two seconds. Like, you, you, you enter, you get one cycled. The end. Oh, there it is. I can't do the finisher. From that stance. Bullshit. Yeah, of course. Spend that. Yes! AoE! Okay! He has an AoE if you're close. That can one cycle you. Okay! Bullshit. to take mist because it went through him. Yeah. 
Long stance. Continue that combo, man. Stamina, man. <gasps> what the? He shoots all the way around him. Great. Bullshit. Camera glitched through the ground. Helpful. Okay, they, he does that medium range too. Ishida Yobinoshu Mitsunari is a wise and talented man who served his master overlord Hideyoshi from a young age. Even as a grown man, he continued to es eschew the limelights in favor of steering Hideyoshi's reign from the shadows. Although his penchant for brutal honesty earned him more enemies than allies, some say that his utmost loyalty to his master and devotion to the principles of justice truly embody what it means to be a samurai. You fucker. Anything. Why is this part of the arena? Is this supposed to be a strategy? Go up here or the other way? To like drop attack him? Or to, to wait out his bullshit wind attack? Maybe. Oh yeah, he was supposed to be with me. He could have helped me. Ibuki Yama no Reisui. Kore de Mitsunari to no mo. ドラッグ so the same dream as the other guy. It's the same dream as Yasu. It's just that he doesn't like the means. 
優しいの水なり殿ああなたは明智光秀殿何故そなたの宙に誠にあっぱれされど人の世には忠義より重きものがあり申すそれは大義じゃ三成殿忠義を重んずるあまり大義に背かれますなあなたも大義のため信長様を討ち主君殺しの汚名をかぶったというかされば私も大義に裁かれよう、うん、ケリーメガ私が信じた信長様を改まとしてよみがえらせ再び大乱の渦を起こそうとしております安心殿家康殿が大義この国が太平のためかの者を止めてくだされ Possessed by Izuna. The only reason I still live after killing my master is to help this country finally achieve peace. Sir Anjan, I beg of you, stop Kelly and put an end to this senseless war. The mission A True Ninja has been added to the dojo, and a greater harmony has been added, and evil in the ether was unlocked. So we get the submission A Mountain of Remorse at the same place and the Samurai from Savayama. That's the place where the other guys went to uh, as our next main mission. But we're going to do the Mountain of Remorse next unless we can do the dojo missions. A true ninja. We need 20 decks. And a greater harmony, we need 20 magic, uh, which is both things that I think I'll never get because the level up requirements are pretty harsh right now. And I'm not in the mood to uh, farm 8 levels, 10 levels, 10 levels, but like 500k plus each. Okay, let me do inventory management or first memory stuff. Izuna. As a fox. In Japan, foxes are known far and wide as servants to the god of the harvest and have long been believed to possess mystical powers. Foxes blessed with such power are very proud and thus reluctant to use it for humans. But if they should accept one as their master, they will serve with absolute loyalty. Izuna is no exception. If anything, it has stricter standards for who it will serve and will only accept and will only accept only those who are proud, capable and loyal of their own masters, just like itself. Loyal to their own masters, just like itself. Tenkai is in fact, in fact Akeshi Mitsuhide, the general who catalyzed the Honoji temple incident which forced Oda, Oda Nobunaga to take his own life. Mitsuhide was said to have been murdered by rogues after being defeated in battle by Toyotomi Hideyoshi, but in fact he simply changed his name to Tenkai and started a new life as a monk. Today he is strongly in sympathy with Tokugawa Iyasu's desire to unite all under heaven and supports Iyasu behind the scenes when possible. After Sight lost the battle of Sekigahara, Mitsunari was betrayed by Kelly. He briefly became an Oni, but purification with the sacred water of Ibukiyama restored him to sanity. Although used by Kelly to further the latter's inhuman plans to weaponize Emrita, Mitsunari did not lose sight of his ideal, a beautiful world in which all lived in accordance with their responsibilities. I almost forgot about the entries that I unlocked during my uh, farming of entries. Still not the Karakasa Umbrella, but that's the last normal enemy that we have to, to find again. And it's only two, so we'll just find them in one place or another. 
the Mujina. They love playing pranks and causing trouble and are not necessarily malicious by nature. They may move strangely to see how a startled person reacts, but if that person responds with the same movement, they will leave the area satisfied with their newfound playmate. I take one on purpose just to, to get this entry. Against opponents bearing Imrita one-eyed imps use their long tongues as a whip to attack. Each blow from their tongues steals some Imrita, which the one-eyed imp uses to grow larger and more powerful. If they must be fought, it is best to defeat them before this transformation advances too far. I had to fight uh, freaking 18 of them and that's uh, the reason why I even started to farm because I didn't think I would meet enough uh, in the rest of the game, so uh, I decided to go farm them. And uh, yeah, it's interesting, like we get an explanation on how the transformation mechanic works, which will help us in the future. The Yuki Honor of Honoji Temple is Princess No, resurrected in yokai form by Kelly's dark magic. Her grief over the death of her beloved husband Oda, Oda Nobunaga froze the entire city of Kyoto. It is said if one with the power to control ice and snow armed with a Naginata, is armed with a Naginata, they might stand a chance against her. We don't have a Naginata and we don't have the power to control ice and snow, we just crushed her. And the last thing and the main reason why I chose the Falling Snow mission to farm is this. The Snowclops serving the day to empathize with Shigesane who gave up his humanity in service of Masu Masamune. Although the Snowclops themselves were once human, the power of the Spirit Stones has distorted their appearance into its demon-like form. It is believed that this transformation came about in response to the heavy Tohoku, Tohoku Snow, which served to hinder Masamune's ambition. Normally wars cannot be fought during winter in regions which, with such heavy snowfall, but the Snowclops' power increases in the snow, enabling them to inflict heavy losses upon the Date's opponents who let down their guard due to the adverse weather conditions. This is an enemy, like it's behind the bosses, so I assume the, both the enemies that are behind the bosses have been added by DSCs. And so I think they put some of them where they fit in the base game, that's enabling me to learn something about the Date and Masamune, although I don't know what they are. Like, I don't know who those people are and what Tohoku is, but uh, they're there behind the bosses, so I assume it's DLC boss, uh, enemies. Good. That was the Defiled Holy Mountain, and uh, we're gonna see us tomorrow with the Mountain of Remorse. Have a nice day, see you then. Mm -hmm.